We're going to spend some time talking about the General Motors parallel hybrid truck, also known as the Heflex. Now, this is basically a diagram. It's a 19 horsepower motor, which doesn't give us a lot of power. To the right over here is what a impulse assist looks like from a Honda. It's the same type of motor. It's going to go between the transmission and the engine to give you an assist. So this is one type of parallel hybrid used on GM. There's now three types. So we'll just kind of hit them quickly. We're going to get a lot of the things we get out of other hybrids. We got an automatic stop and start. When we stop, it'll shut the engine down. We get a dre a aggressive deceleration fuel cutoff. The traction motors will control downshifts. That's going to help a little bit. We will get early torque converter lockup to try to improve things. The shift transmission, the transmission shift schedule is modified slightly to take advantage of the extra 20 horsepower. We do get some limited regenerative braking and we get limited traction motor assist. It's only 20 horsepower. Most people don't find it very impressive. Now, it's all of these are going to have to have an energy storage system. It's a component for the energy system management. It contains all the DC to DC converters and power inverters. Because remember, we've got to run other things off of this. It's going to have three lead-acid batteries that are deep cycle to provide the electrical power to the 42-volt system, which includes an electric power steering system. Now, don't confuse this with the new two-mode GM hybrid. This is the newest two-mode, which is more like what we're going to be talking about with power splitting, but it's power splitting plus direct connect. This has a quick disconnect that is different. Do not confuse this with what we're talking about now. This is the manual disconnect where you turn it. It's buried down there. It's going to disconnect and turn the system off. Now, part of the ones we have for GM like this are belt alternator starter systems, BAS for short. It's a mild hybrid again. It's a simple system that permits application to almost any vehicle. It can be a bolt-on hybrid. There's a lot of hope for this for some of the V8s to give them slightly more horsepower, slightly more help. We get the same things. We get automatic stop-start, deacceleration fuel cutoff, limited regenerative braking, we're going to get the same type of controls where we get the early torque converter lockup. The traction motor is assisted, be it ever so limited to 20 horsepower. And the starter, the, the, the standard engine uses the starter for first starts. It's going to start up and run the engine off a standard starter for first starts. So that's pretty much it. It's going to be sitting out here on the side. It only needs an electronic box and an energy storage system and a uh, simple system to help manage this whole thing. Remember, it's all going to be integrated in with the existing EMC, transmission controller, ABS. All of that has to be part of it. Belted, all data starter systems, most of the components are under the hood. The battery packs in the rear of the vehicle. It's what you're going to see most frequently on GM pickup trucks. Here's a composite of pictures showing you where the components are located. It functions as a motor at 36 volts. It functions as a drainer at 42. The reason we talk about this is frequently referred to as three 12 volt batteries. There is no such thing as three 12 volt batteries. They're 12.6 when they're fully charged. 42 volts as they're charged. So call it what you will, they're standard batteries three of them in series. Now, they can be mounted between the transmission and the engine or can be mounted external to the engine. Two ways of mounting it. They're both mild hybrids. Do not confuse them with a new generation of hybrids from GM.